Hey there, it's John from Tiny, and I'm joined by Frederick Danielson, the product manager for Tiny MCE. And today we're going to talk about Tiny MCE 6.2, which is all about creating better content faster. Tiny MCE 6.2 comes with three new features and one major enhancement, as well as several bug fixes. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first feature we're going to talk about today is merge tags. Merge tags is highly requested by the community and customers, which is why we're so excited to introduce it. The first use case that usually comes to mind with merge tags is email. But merge tags can also be really useful if you're inserting dynamic content into a document builder or even a content management system. For this example, we'll take a look at email because it's the most familiar use case. So it's really easy for users to start adding merge tags. All they have to do is enter the beginning of the merge tag and start typing whatever merge tag they want to enter. The dropdown list automatically narrows down the list so they can choose what they want. They can also choose the merge tag from a menu item or from an optional toolbar button that they can add, which they can also filter through. Now, merge tags are read only, which means users can't go in and accidentally mess up their merge tag. They can delete it, but they can't mistype it or misspell it. What this means is there's less risk of render errors when your email is sent out or when your document is rendered. Another really cool feature about merge tags is they inherit the formatting that you apply to them. So for example, if you change the font color or adjust the formatting, the merge tag will inherit that as well. What that means is your users can actually see accurate previews of what the content is going to look like with the merge tags. Now, setting up merge tags as a developer is super easy. All you have to do is enable the merge tags plugin specify your merge tag prefix and suffix if you're not going with the default double curly braces and then list out each of the merge tags you want your users to choose from merge tags is also backwards compatible with your content that is to say if you're already using your own flavor of merge tags within your app for example plain text merge tags all you have to do is specify the pattern that's used to recognize the merge tags and tinymc will automatically apply that read-only formatting to them in the editor this means you don't have to go back and change a bunch of content in your app when you enable the Merge Tags plugin. Merge Tags is available to customers on our Essential plan and above. Next, we're going to talk about the Footnotes plugin, another highly requested feature from the community and customers. Footnotes works exactly like your users expect. It's great for any content creation use case. For example, if someone's writing academic content, business content, medical or scientific content. Anytime your users have to reference external sources, Footnotes is great. Let's take a look at how it works. So I'm going to place my cursor here, click the add footnotes button and paste in my reference. You'll notice that it generates a footnotes table at the bottom and automatically starts numbering each footnote. Now I'll add in a couple more references. So now that I've added a few more references, you can see that they're automatically numbered. Now, if I were to delete a reference in the middle, the numbering is automatically updated. What this means is that your users don't have to go in, manually create their own footnotes table and keep changing around the numbering every time they add something. Less errors and a more enjoyable experience for your users. Another thing you can do is move the footnotes table around and put content after it. So for example, if I wanted to include a copyright notice, I could do that and there would be no problem adding it after the footnotes. Enabling the footnotes plugin is super easy. All you have to do is enable it as a plugin in the config and then optionally add it as a toolbar button. Footnotes is available on our professional tier and above. Okay, on to the next one. The third plugin that we're introducing with TinyMCE 6.2 is AutoCorrect. AutoCorrect corrects over a thousand common typos in the English language and auto capitalizes words at the beginning of sentences. It offers the same experience that your users are used to on their phone or other content creation apps. Let's take a look at a quick example. Let's say I start typing a common misspelling of the word the, autocorrect will just automatically fix it without the user having to do any further action. Autocorrect can be used in any use case to make sure that your users don't have to go back and fix annoying typos that they make. It saves them time and makes for a more enjoyable editing experience. To get autocorrect up and running, all you have to do is enable the plugin and you're good to go. Just like footnotes, autocorrect is available in our professional plan and above. Now, another major enhancement to TinyMC 6.2 is how the editor handles bulleted lists and numbered lists, specifically the formatting of the bullets and numbers. Now, when your users have lists, the numbers and the bullets inherit the formatting of the text within them. So let's say, for example, I increase the font size of this text, the bullet's going to increase. Let's say I change the color, same thing is going to happen. In order for your users to benefit from this, there's no configuration needed. All you need to do is upgrade to 6.2. Okay, Frederick, over to you to talk about bug fixes. Thank you, John. So every day, developers trust us to deliver a consistent, 
reliable editing experience for millions of users. We put a lot of pride and effort into delivering high quality code and our QA team and our big community ensures that every release are up to our high standards. Many of the bugs that we receive from customers are about specific edge cases and for every release we allocate a significant amount of time to address these issues. For this release we got 19 bullets in the TinyMC 6.2 changelog. One of the improvements is that now PowerPaste can handle pasting large documents and I mean large. We also addressed a couple of issues around content editable faults and how these non-editable elements behave in the editor. Check out the release notes which you can find inside the documentation through tiny.cloud. Here are the ways that you can get your hands on TinyMC 6.2. You can upgrade seamlessly from older TinyMC 6 versions as 6.2 is a minor version without any breaking changes. And if you are using our cloud stable channel you'll get 6.2 automatically. If you want to take advantage of all these new plugins just make sure you have them on your plan or upgrade if necessary. All plans come with support from our professional support team who are here to help you get up and running quickly. Thanks, Frederick. And of course, if you're not using TinyMCE yet, you can always sign up for a 14-day free trial on our website to test drive all of these features. Frederick, how can people find out what's next? To find out what's next, head over to tiny.cloud slash roadmap to have a look at what we are working on. You can also help shape future version of TinyMCE by letting us know what's important to you and your users. Awesome. So that's it for TinyMCE 6.2. Stay tuned for the next release.